Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I will be able to create more content for you. Right, so uh, we're going to install Zoom on WordPress. Uh, this is the actual WordPress website we're going to use. It is a demo website that I use usually for tutorials. So what we're going to do now is to go to the Zoom website, zoom.us. You need to create an account. I already got the account created. So this is the actual account. It looks like the actual dashboard. Here you'll find all the meetings, the upcoming, the previous, and if you want to create personal rooms as well. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the Zoom developer page where you're going to create a API with the keys you need to get started. You go to the marketplace, is the zoom.us forward slash developer. This is the actual page itself. What you want to do is uh, click on develop and build app and the part you need is the JWT. You're going to click on create and you're going to add the app name. Once that's been done, just click the button create. So the app has been created and it's the actual page where you're going to uh, edit. You can add your logo if you want to. And here you're going to put the app name, the shop description a company name if you want to and again you put your name and your email address to get started the links are optional once has been done I'm gonna click continue and here we got the app credentials so now the next step is to go to the WordPress dashboard and install the zoom plugin this is a free plugin so I'm going to write Zoom and search for it. And the first one here, the Zoom meeting and the webinar is the one we want. There are many others, but that's what we're going to install. Once I install, I'm going to activate it. All right, so I'm going to close this one. Pop up here now. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to the Zoom, um, as you can see, has been installed. And I'm going to the settings. Right so now, as you can see here, we got two sections. We got the main and the short codes. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on the meetings tab, as you can see here, where you can actually add meetings or webinars. Going back to the Zoom settings, I'm going to copy and paste the API key and the secret key from the Zoom website, as you can see here. So that's the API key. And I'm going to paste it. Going back copy the API secret and also paste that too. Then I'm going to save the settings. Now there are short codes you can have from the settings point or for example if you go to meetings and add new meetings I'm going to create the actual meeting itself here and then I'm going to show you how you can actually get the particular short code for each you know for each meetings or webinar you're going to uh, create so I'm going to call it zoom meeting I'm going to add the meeting host I'm going to add the date I'm leaving as today and I'm going to put the time 1600 uh, yeah four o'clock there we go going to get the time zone I'm going to choose London that's where I am located should be plus one somewhere there we go I can add the meeting duration if I want to I'm going to put down 20 minutes you can add a meeting password you can uh, um, allow to join before the uh, the event you can host the videos or just audios is up to you and also you can add 
enforce the login from the password if you want. So once has been done, there's an alternative also you've got to add more users if you wanted to. This is the uh, SEO rank math. We don't need that for now. And that's it. Once has been done, I'm going to click on publish and on top left, uh, sorry, on top right, as you can see here now, we got the shortcode for this particular event. So once that's been done, I'm going to the pages and I'm going to create a new page where I'm going to add the short code. Right, so let me close the pop-up from uh, WordPress and as you can see, just I'm going to add the title and I just paste the actual shortcode there. Make sure your permalinks are correct and once that's been done, we got the page created. I'm going back to the dashboard here and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to add as well the page to the menu. So you can see as well how easy it is if you want to add that to your menu. And uh, as you can see, it's been added at the bottom of the actual menu. Let's go and save the menu and we go back to the main page and I'm going to refresh and should be there as you can see Zoom meeting. I'm going to click on it and as you can see the meeting starts in 1 minute and 9 seconds. You got two way of joining. You can join in with the browser or you can join with the Zoom app. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to join with the Zoom app and as you can see it's connected. And in no time at all, we should be logged in uh, with the uh, credentials. As you can see, Tim Golden, this is the account that I usually use with my partner team. And as you can see, it actually works and everything's there. And, you know, uh, very easy to use. As you can see, we got uh, one person in there, and that's me, the host. And of course, if you got more, they can actually join easily by just clicking one of those buttons that I showed you earlier on. So you can actually invite to as well, you can have a chat. Well, this is the usual chat, um, usually Zoom application, so if you're familiar with it, you know that's the way it works. So I'm going to end up and I'm going back to the actual page. Now as you can see on the Zoom website, the uh, meeting that we created in WordPress was already registered via the API. Here you can actually edit and you can do anything you want with it, to be honest with you. Right, so what we're going to do now, we go back to the app and we're going to go to develop, build app. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to view it and I'm going to deactivate the actual app as I do not need any more. So if you go to the activation and all you got to do is press on the deactivate your app. And that's it guys. Uh, so guys, thanks again for joining me for this tutorial slash review. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already. And also please share them if you can. That will help me to create more videos and if you want, I just added a buy me a coffee button where you can donate any amount to help me keep this channel alive. Have a great day and I'll see you soon for my next tutorial.